Cheers. And we are back. Finally. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, can you believe it's been that long? I can't even believe. Like, where has the time even gone? The time flew by. But we've been working and building and planning this for so long. We're so excited to be back. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay. So as far as what's been going on then, I guess so we we've been working so hard to make sure that when we come back this time, it was going to be right. So as you can see, we have our studio, yes. New Improved Studio, and we want to let you guys know that it's going to be a little different this time. So you guys can expect episodes bi-weekly, yes. and we're actually going to do uh, six-week seasons. So before, it was kind of just like over the summer. This time, it's going to be more about like choosing a theme, overall theme. I'll be the bottle. Oh, you gotta, I told you, man. You're not going to pop the bottle because I'm scared. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, shit. Let me continue at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, six week seasons. Bi-weekly, we'll be airing Wednesday nights at midnight, so you can catch us on YouTube. Uh, like before, we're on our YouTube channel, Candid Carvos. Um Also, podcast. That's going to be different. That's yes. new. We are going to be a visual podcast. So, yes, YouTube, but then also you can stream us on Apple, uh, iTunes, Music, SoundCloud, SoundCloud you'll be yes. able to... New and improved candid combos. The Alex yes. sisters are back and we're not here to play. We're back, bitch! We're back, bitch! <laughs> so, yes, you can expect a uh, bi weekly and we're also going to incorporate some different activities this time around. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys were with us before, but a lot of the time we are up in our studio and kind of just talking and doing little bowl pulls. So, we're still going to do that, but we also want to incorporate more activities where we're kind of getting out, talking to other people. Um, and also having more guests. Mm-hmm. So we talked to our viewers and we wanted to listen to you guys to find out what you wanted. So we listened yes. and we're going to do our homework and we got a lot planned for this season alone. Yes, we will deliver. Uh, we'll have different themes, talking about different topics, just to keep it fun and creative. Mm-hmm. And so excited to just bring a new spin to what yes. we're already doing. So. So glad that you guys are back with us, and fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a wild, fun ride. So, two candid combos. Cheers. Cheers. So, a quick update with us, um, because last we were here, we looked different. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so. we were in different stages of life. Definitely. So now um, I'm still natural, as you can see. Fro is flowing, growing, flourishing. Yes. <laughs> um, that's still there. Um, school wise, I was actually entering my master's level uh, program when uh, we first created Canna Combos, and I am now in my second year of my yes. doctorate program. Doctorate. Right. So, a year and a half left of that. Mm-hmm. Um, my baby girl is five now. Wow. Um, mm-hmm. And my love life, my man's is my man's. <laughs> Still going strong. Happy How many love. Years? We are now 11 years. Oh, okay. It's a long time. It's a long fucking time. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, life is great and I'm so excited. Okay. I think um, one of the biggest transitions, I think physically, is my hair. I have none. <laughs> um, so you guys know from last last season, 2015, um, I kind of revealed the issues and traumas I was dealing with with my hair. Um, so in 2016, I kind of just said, fuck it, you know what, I'm done, I'm done trying to preserve something that clearly isn't for me, so I shaved it all off, and here we are, almost in 2019, yes. tomorrow is New Year's Eve, just so you guys know, yes. so uh, here we are years later, I feel great, um, I'm happy that I kind of let go of that weight of trying to hide something, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And just kind of embracing what's for me because there's nothing I could do about it. Mm-hmm. So here we are. Um, 2015, I was 
What was I doing? Was it a group CD? Trying to figure shit out. Like, you know, I was trying to figure shit out. I was trying to figure out life. Pretty well. Um, still figuring out life, but I have graduated with my bachelor's, and I'm actually going back to school next year mm-hmm. for my master's. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Right? <laughs> Not I will be going back to school. Right. I think I will go back to school. <laughs> um, so going back to school... I'm a certified yoga instructor, did that as well, Mm -hmm. Um, been in a relationship for almost almost three years, it's a funny story actually, (laughs) we actually, um, so he graduated at Raven, high school, yeah, Mm -hmm. high school at Raven, and turns out back in 2015, he actually like commented and was like sending us tips and stuff. On how we could improve candy combos. Mm-hmm. He was. Yeah. So we shouted him out. We shouted him out on all episodes. And, and we didn't even know. Look at that. Look at the universe. <laughs> look at fate. So yeah. here we are. And life's good. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm happy. I'm just ready to be back on this. Yeah. I think yes. this is what we've been missing. Yeah. For a long time. Yeah. It so good. it feels good to be back. Mm-hmm. For me, um, in 2015, what was going on? I, ooh, in 2015, <laughs> I was separated. I don't know if anybody knew that, but mm-hmm. I was going through a separation. Mm-hmm. I am now divorced, so. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I was, uh, had a newborn baby. He's about to be four years old. Right. Oh my God. Can you believe that? Oh my God. Oh. And an eight-year-old oh my now. Jeez. Mother of two. Um. I was just beginning a nursing program, an RN program, and I'm still in nursing, not yes. yet a nurse, but I'm still in nursing school. That's right. And in 2019, I will be a nurse, yes. graduating, so. Yes. What else? Oh, I've been on this journey of finding myself since going through a divorce and mm-hmm. going through a depression, mm-hmm. and so these years have been like building myself up, getting to learn who I am, yeah. you know, what I like, and, yeah. you know, um, you look different, I yes. look different, <laughs> I played around with my looks, I lost a lot of weight, yes, I you became did. very muscular earlier this year, I became very skinny earlier this year, yes. with juicing, crazy, now I'm just, I'm healthy and happy, <laughs> <laughs> healthy and happy, healthy and happy, with this holiday weight, um, <laughs> yeah, but fitness has become like a big thing in our lives, and we've been going hard. We were so. going hard, and we're coming back with it. That's just because school started. So, you know, how life happens. happens. Life happens, and I think you have to like adjust accordingly. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's what we're kind of all doing mm-hmm. is like yeah. finding our footing and figuring out like, okay, what's next, and how do you keep going and not like let life get you down. Because mm-hmm. it's so easy life to let it hit you hard. Down. Life is fucking tough. And then you're like, oh, my God. Yeah, but it can't defeat us, though. No. It won't it keep us down. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, I'm bald now. Yes. But I, I've been doing blonde. I'm rocking the blonde look right now. Like a short, low boy mm-hmm. cut. Mm-hmm. Um, that's been me, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still school, still single, still mommy. Mommy. Yeah. Still loving life. There you go. Okay. So, now that we kind of gave you guys a little info about what's been up with us, we kind of just wanted to talk about what this theme for this uh, first season of Candy Combos in 2019 is going to entail. Yes. You guys want to? Yes. So, the theme for the first season, which will be six weeks, like we said, Mm -hmm. uh, will be all about womanhood. Because we are women. We are brought into womanhood. And there's so many different elements and aspects of becoming a woman and growing yeah. into your womanhood. And like, what does that even mean? What does it mean to be what a woman? What does it mean for you as opposed to what it means for society as a whole? Right. Or what does it mean for my mom? Exactly. exactly. Generational. Right. Get out of my mouth. <laughs> right. Generationally, mm-hmm. um, what womanhood means uh, from race to sex yes. is all of everything. Yes. So that's what the whole theme will be. Yes. Today, we are talking about sisterhood, <laughs> because obviously that's what brought us together, um, one being birth blood sisters, right. but two, just the, what sisterhood means to us, mm-hmm. and why it's so important. So, who wants to start? 
Um, what does sisterhood mean to you? What do you think, B? <laughs> okay, put me on the spot. <laughs> sisterhood to me, I feel like it's something that's so innate because I don't know anything else. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh -huh. I was just thinking, like, what do you guys think? How would we have met if we weren't sisters? Oh, um, I don't know. Think about that. Like, but sister, <laughs> sisterhood to me, I think, is having people who understand you like no one else. Mm -hmm. Your mother, your father will never be able to understand you the way your sibling does mm -hmm. because they didn't grow up with you. Mm -hmm. Even if they did have you as a teen, it's still different. Yeah. Um, your man, your partner is never going to know what it's like to really know you the yeah. way your sibling is going to know. Right. So I think for me, that's what sisterhood is. It's having someone who just knows you, knows the things that's coming out of your mouth before you say it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I love and cherish so much about us because yeah. when I'm feeling, ooh, I just had this <laughs> idea pop in my head. Like when I'm feeling a certain way, uh -huh. leave it to Raven and start pulling out the sage and like mm -hmm. turning on the Erica Badu and all the it's the, the vibes that, that I need. I yeah. Got, yeah, that's gonna bring me back down. And I know I can always sense it when both of them are kind of like not themselves, and I'm like, okay, and I kind of know what it is. Like if it's space, I can give you space. Like I I can read that. If it's like you need to calm down a little bit, I'm gonna pull out the sage. <laughs> Turn the tune. Sorry, Cardi. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> but put on that little Erica, a little yeah. Lauren Hill, and just mm -hmm. shift that a little bit. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, shifting that energy. Yeah. So I, I think that's a big part of this sisterhood. Yeah. What is it to you? To me, I believe sisterhood is about support. And I don't know if. I would be where I am today if I didn't have the support. And I think sisterhood comes in so many different forms. Um, yeah, we have it as siblings, but I think you can find sisterhood and friendships and, oh, and other relationships. Mm -hmm. But um, I think for this sisterhood, the support that you have or that we have, yeah. um, whenever like, we're challenged with something or we have to face something new, it's kind of like, okay. It doesn't matter like it falls on just right. that one person. I can rally yeah. my troops and yeah. I'm like, okay, we're going to support each other. Team. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think we probably talked about it last time, but I think like with pregnancy, when finding out you're pregnant, mm -hmm. this is like, whoa, 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 girls. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we got the truth. You know, <laughs> you know, we got some shit to handle. So I think um, the support, the support from strong and empowering women. Yeah. Because I think there's it's one thing to have that support from somebody and it's like, oh, that's my girl, you know, she cool, I can hit her up. Or somebody that's like, nah, I'm going through something, I'm dealing with something and yeah. I need that, yeah. that. And I think that's what sisterhood is to me. Oh, <laughs> I feel like mine encompasses both because my thought was sisterhood is I always have a confidant. I always have somebody I can lean on, so that's the support, and that's, mm -hmm. that's my team. Um, when things to go and get rough, like yeah. I know I can always count on y'all. Yeah. Even if it's just you know watching the kids. Okay, yeah. I know that I have to go to work at four, and you yes. just showed up, and you know you nod your head, and I saw that the other day. I said, "Bree, I gotta go work at four. You nodded your head like I'm here. Yeah. I, I didn't even you know. Know. Like, I'm like I'm a bitch here." Done. <laughs> I don't have to worry. Like that's what yeah. it is for me. I don't, I don't have to worry. Yeah. When I got y'all around, and then if I don't have y'all around, it's a quick FaceTime away. Yes. Right. Thank God for technology. <laughs> yeah. It's FaceTime and Skype saves. So, so, going back to the question that I just came up with, okay. if we weren't sisters, how do you guys think we would have met? Would life still go the same, like school and stuff? Yeah, like life is still normal. We're just not sisters. We're not sisters. Okay. Do you, I, like as kids, as adults? I automatically went to high school. And I think we probably would have met on the cheerleading team. We would have been cheering. You weren't into yeah. cheerleading. So we probably would have met with cheerleading. But you met a lot of good friends through cheerleading. Mm -hmm. Solid, close friends. So probably um, cheerleading or some type of something at school. And then, I don't know, because I think we're, like, so similar and so different. Mm -hmm. Like, you're way more artsy. So, I probably, you probably would have been a girl that was like, ooh, did you see she made that outfit? Like, okay, <laughs> like, okay, I'm going to be her friend. We'll talk. And I probably would have initiated the conversation with both of them. I would have definitely started the conversation with that. Well, I think it depends. Well, I guess in your scenario. Yes. Because I feel like 
I feel like we would have met through our parents being friends, and we would have been like childhood friends that just like oh, oh, that grew up like sisters. Yeah, that's right. Cute. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> that whole story. That's cute. Of course. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. Okay. Our parents are friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had no thoughts. I was like, okay, maybe, no <laughs> maybe, um, I don't know. We all ended up going to the same school, being Florida State or even high school. Yeah. Like, yeah. If would because I felt like, especially at the high school we went to and college, mm -hmm. the black population pretty much hung out with each other. Yeah. So yes, very much so. We would have crossed paths, and whether we became instant friends then or not, yeah, then or not. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I think that's probably a way we would have met mm -hmm. in school, past crossing. Yeah. Then we find similar interests. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think it's important to say that, like, not all sisterhoods are the same. Mm -hmm. And I think we've noticed that just by the people we've, like, been around and encountered. Absolutely. So I think we feel, like, super blessed that we have this connection because we know so many people who don't have that type of relationship with their sisters, which mm -hmm. is unfortunate, but, again, you don't know mm -hmm. people's life circumstances right. and, right. you know, things like that. But I think we just feel, especially the older we get, mm -hmm. you know, you're not taking things for granted anymore. Right. <laughs> Appreciate the small things. Right. Yeah. My boyfriend actually said to me, like, oh, like, if you didn't have your sisters, like, you had to go out and make all these, like, grand new friends. And I'm like, you're right, but I have, like, built-in sisters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, right. So leave me alone. <laughs> no, but I think there's, for me, there's no connection um, like it. There's no connection like it. I don't yeah. know. Like, how else do you put it? Yeah. So I think I'm always curious, like, when there's sister or sibling relationships and they aren't close or... Maybe you're kind of close, or maybe you got close over time, type of thing like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a spectrum. Very close and not close at all. Yeah. It's like, it can fall anywhere on that spectrum. And it's mm -hmm. just like, it was like we almost didn't have a choice, though, because <laughs> we didn't have a choice. It was like, you're going to be friends with your sister, that's your sister, she comes number one. Like, yeah. you don't let nobody talk about your sisters. Yes. You can't talk about your sister. Yeah. So. <laughs> I remember that as a child. Like, I remember growing up, like, I had short hair. Your hair was always long and full, and my hair was, like, shorter and more... It wasn't thin. I didn't have thin hair. It was just... It was just different. Like, like, yeah, had different. Yeah. yeah. And then it was all permed, so... Yeah. Yeah, they didn't help. But I just remember always feeling like, why is my hair so long and full? And then I know. And then it's like, I couldn't be called bald headed. Thank but, God. Yeah, and that, that was the thing. We weren't allowed to pick on each other. Yeah. We were. It was like that stick. Yeah. Our parents were kind of just like, yeah, no, like dead, all of that. Uh, because you, that's your sister, you love your sister, you are riding for your sister, and so that was it. Or you get beat, yeah, you, you get a spanking, if I find out. Spanking, you get your ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You get your ass whooped. Yeah. If, yeah, if it ever came back that you were not riding for your sister pretty much, yeah. in like present day terms, if you aren't riding for your sister, there's no consequences. It made me mm -hmm. just think back to we. All we had was each other, and our parents kind of forced that, like, family is all you have, your siblings are all you have, and I think when we went off to school, we were going to school in a city maybe 15 miles away or so, 15, 20 miles away, we had to take a bus, distance. right, we had to take a bus, 5 o'clock in the morning, a white affluent yeah. neighborhood, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so I think it was something new for all of us, like, okay, bitch, well, I'm going to stick with you, like, I don't know these people are in right. this area, right. and I remember... I'm going cry. Oh, no. <laughs> it's episode one. Right? Okay. We're not doing the tears yet. I remember my very, very, very first day of school in kindergarten. Uh -huh. And Jasmine had to take me to kindergarten. Jasmine is our parents. Yeah. Right, our parents. Yeah. Yeah. You took me to class. Our parents had to work. So it was like, get on a bus, walk your sister to kindergarten. Yeah. And our yeah. parents were just like, Jasmine, I don't want you to leave me. Like, don't leave me. It's just like, I have to go to my class. You were third grade. Yeah. I just remember what the book bag you had. Like, Oh, wow. the brown suede on the bottom. Oh, I remember that one. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> and I remember this girl, like, came up to us and, like, asked Jasmine when she could play with her. And I'm just like, bitch, I'm in the class with you, okay? Not her. Like, play with me. <laughs> Be my friend. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was nerve-wracking. Yeah. I think that anxiety of, like, oh, yeah. Being a kid, and yeah, yeah, and it's like the fear of the unknown. My safety blanket is sleeping. Yeah, being separated from what you know, and then 
Okay. And not having your parents there, like kindergarten, I don't, I don't like to miss out on first of anything. Right, yeah. First oh, no. day of school or yeah. first, first well, baby. Or, yeah. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so I'm mm -hmm. glad I played a role in your friends. Yeah, I think yeah. you've always been like more of the maternal Absolutely. Sibling. Absolutely. Yeah. Hands down, like. I'm going to try to be. I feel like everybody's mom. You are naturally going to that role because mm -hmm. that reminds me of my first year at FSU and the summer program that I entered and like I was looking for Jasmine. She would bring me dinner and she was being pregnant then waddling with Sienna in her belly yeah. and I remember I was just telling mom like you dropped off some hot dogs and beans to yeah. in a butter container. And you delivered and I so like I didn't have to worry. Yeah. I knew that Jack was gonna pick me up and do laundry. Help me or well I was gonna do my laundry, but she was gonna pick me up and I could do my laundry at her apartment. Uh, I was gonna get a meal. I was like everything was taken care of. Like, and I have a weekend to chill out. Right. And I, so it was just like knowing that I had my sister there, I had no worries at all. Jasmine's like the type of kid that like I remember having like field trips where you have to wake up like five o'clock in the morning because you're going to like Islands of Adventure. Or Ooh, St. Augustine. Yeah. yeah. That and Jasmine like wakes up with you like, hey, get up. And I'm like, I'm not like, I'm good. I'm gonna make this my field trip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do remember things like that. Like, yeah, you're like waking up, like, why aren't you sleeping? Like, <laughs> like, you're just like, just eat your right. That's awesome. funny. That's yeah, awesome. I think um, just the sisterhood being instilled in us, it, I can see it manifesting as a, like adult women now. Yeah. And how that goes on into the different friendships that we develop or the associates or whatever you want to call them. Everybody's not your friend. But um, I, I can see all of those traits that were kind of like instilled early on. You know, you support each other, you are there, you listen, you all of that. Like I can see what was instilled as a child yeah. into my adult life. Into and now life. we're trying to raise our daughters up. They're not sisters, but they're almost like sisters. They, they, they call each other sisters. That's the they want to be nice to each other. When they want to be nice, you know, they call each other sister and. It, I think they kind of have that same kind of feeling. Look back while we're here. Yeah, we're here. Oh my god. Because yeah. we're kind of still the same thing. You don't pick on your sister. You don't talk about her. You yeah. don't. Like, no, that's your sister. It's not okay. It's not. It's you ride for your sister. And I think that's another thing, too, with a lot of different sisterhoods that that's not pushed. Like, you know, you support and you mm -hmm. feed life and positivity into your sister. You don't How have to be. How can that not be, though? How can you not want that for your children to? Grow up close with each other. I think it's the parents, and maybe they didn't have a good relationship uh, so with their parents. Their, yeah, so yeah. maybe they don't know how to. Mm -hmm. But yeah, got gotcha. you. Thanks. Um, I don't know. I think it starts. I think it honestly starts with parents, and I think this is like going on top. But I feel like there's so many parents that don't realize that like what you're saying and what you're doing around your child is going to have such a major effect on them. Mm -hmm, and I think we kind of just like, I thought this no big deal. And then you wonder why siblings hate each other. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, what's the difference that mom made between the two? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. Either that or the, the relationship that mom has with her sister. Yep. You know, if I'm watching that interaction, you can't tell me to be like one way with my sister if I'm watching you yeah. down, like, you know, my yeah. sibling, right? Right. 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 So... Definitely. I think people may look at us and assume like it's all like peaches and cream, like ooh, all this kind type of thing. Yeah, and it's so not that. Right. <laughs> so I think we need to get candid. Yes. Be real about okay. it. Okay. Um, talk about the evolution of our relationships with each other. Mm -hmm. um, I know as a child, Raven would <laughs> pig on me so much. Like, so much? So much. Okay. And I don't think you realize how much because you're like a kid. Yeah. But when we were younger, we had to like take showers together and she would call me green butt Chinese face. I don't even know what, what that's about because she had like a green birthmark. First of all, we were taking baths together. She had like a green birthmark on her butt cheek. Because you know, babies got like the bruises. Yeah. She had the <laughs> I have a really long time. Yeah, she had like a bruised little butt, and she had the chinkiest eyes of all of us. She would smile and then touch up. 
But as a kid, I, I you know, I'm just like, you green but Chinese? <laughs> like, that's literally what it was. Like, so, in a mean way. Yeah, like, did I? Okay, well, I'm just going back. It right. wasn't. Okay, yes, so then I apologize now. Thank you. For Thank you. taunting and picking on you and all of that when we were young. Mm-hmm. Um, if it really bothered you that much, I truly apologize. <laughs> okay, and I truly apologize. She's the best shit for me. Yeah, I did. No, um, because it was never with the malicious intent. I think as a kid, you don't even realize how mean you're being. Yeah. And as a kid, you're just like super mean. And then I did it in a taunting, like, sing song voice. Yeah, and then a song like, 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 like Chinese thing. Yeah. Like, it, it was, was like so funny like, to me. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like Jasmine and I, Jasmine and I, Jasmine and I. I want to do this. I Anyway, the I major. Major. Right. our relationship, I think, it's time for us to like, oh, yeah, she was cute. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think because as a kid, I didn't understand why she was so moody and mean. And so she wasn't the one that would like play with me. Raven was the one that would play with me. I'm playing always. So um, I think it took us getting older, and I think what really was like a turn for our relationship, you know. Yeah. I know. She was, I know but get out of here. Get me out. You <laughs> get yourself out. <laughs> You're not pregnant. I got knocked up and had to leave Tallahassee. Yeah. The yeah. trio had, became a duo. Yeah. And the bitches got <laughs> real. We got a new apartment. Like legit, yeah. we were sister six too. Yeah, we were so like Skyping, like, 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 like we took an online class together so that we would still like have yeah. assignments and shit. Yeah. It was so sad. Like, yeah. Literally, I'm just like home alone with a growing belly. Like, hey y'all, what y'all doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I think growing up, to be honest, I have like pinpoint ideas or uh, memories. memory memory yeah. of childhood. Mm-hmm. So I remember us playing together in the brown room. I remember things like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. I do know y'all used to play a lot together. And y'all were like friends. And I feel like when we did play together, I was the baby. Like when we played mom. When we played mom. Like, I was the baby. I was like, I was done. You were done. Yeah. <laughs> done with that role of like being the mom. I'm like, I'll be the baby. Right. You got the sister and the mom over here. And I'm like, I'm the baby. Because babies need to take naps. Right? Oh my God. Oh my God. Makes so much sense. All you want to do is sleep now. So yeah, and like you said, I think our relationship has always been like I don't know. I think with both of y'all, I'm more of a I don't want to say imposing, but I feel like I'm gonna make that effort. Yeah, and so I think we're both like oh fuck it. Yeah. We know how the other feels. So it's like, yeah, right, right. Yeah, but this one's like, me. I'm just like, just oh, you mad? So you like play? Oh, okay, <laughs> right. Hug me, hug me, and I dare you to not hug me. And, and, and you can't say mad after that. Like, why be mad? Why waste your time being mad? Good point. Yeah. Um, the evolution of our evolution. evolution. What is evolution? evolution? The evolution of um, yeah. our sisterhood. Rico. Yeah. You can. Tap me too. Um, <laughs> I think I don't know. I remember just chilling with them both. Um, Jasmine, I know when we were younger, I would give more space to just because again, the, the, I don't know what the moodiness was when she I was younger. Either. I like yeah. I guess just Scorpio child. Maybe that we I could. Have no idea. Yeah, maybe we can do some research into this Scorpio because, child. like, y'all say moody, and I so agree, like moody, but I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know where the moody point what caused it. Yeah, That's interesting. Yeah, so growing up, I think we played dolls, uh, school, yeah. whatever. Like this was like my go-to bitch for like playing. Like, I don't know and then, <laughs> right. and then, and then, oh, and then I think with Jasmine. Probably when I went off to school was probably that connection of when it was like, which was different too. I think the the stage of life you're in. Yeah. Um, as young adults in college, it was kind of like the freedom yeah. that like oh, we, you my bitch. Like, you know, like, 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 oh, but it uh, kind of started in high school too. And I think it really started when Jasmine got her car at sixteen. Mm-hmm. Then we had the freedom we could go so, places. Yeah. We could like so that's probably where it really kind of like solidified I feel like the most. That's the age that you kind of get to. 
grow into your own a little bit Mm -hmm. and you're starting to like explore that more so I think we're able to explore that and see a different side of each other versus just like the child is Jeff you know what I mean like I'm more than just a kid right you know what it was like 16 able to date have a car and like freedom freedom yeah because when I need to sneak somewhere when I gotta do what I gotta do who else am I gonna tell but these two like okay y'all know where I'm at that one yeah I remember I was always the one to like open a door. I remember our oldest brother, yep. Teddy, rest in peace. Um, I remember him knocking on my window one day, like well, it was late. I don't even know what time it was, but he knocked on my window, like, hey, man, I got you. Like it oh, was no. crazy. Like I was the one. I don't know why. Like, I don't know if you sneak in or sneak out. Always. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, the evo- I didn't finish the evolution. Evolution. Of- yeah. yeah. Um, our relationship. I think we were really good growing up. Uh, Little Bear, this is my bitch. We were up like 7 a.m. Saturday morning watching cartoons. Little no, Bear. She was sleeping until like Bill 10. And toast. Like, or 12. So, <laughs> 10 or 12, yeah. She was sleeping, but Bria was the one that I'm like, we're up and watching rises. cartoons. Yeah. And then. I about that. Yeah. And then I think our roughest patch was probably after I had True. Mm-hmm. And the whole babysitting, try, me trying to have a life because I was 21 mm-hmm. and a new mom. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, I'm killing this mom shit, but I also want to go out. And so it was like, I couldn't understand why Bria didn't want to watch my kid. If she wasn't trying to go nowhere. Bria don't want to go nowhere. Bria wants to stay in the house like, Watch my kid, bro. It's not a big deal. But I do know the truth was also very difficult back then yeah. because I was yeah. nursing. So she was like super attached. Super attached. And I feel like, I think my thing back then was I felt like I had a close connection with truth. Yes. Out of all the kids. And then I feel like in the mornings, like it was a thing, like I would get true when you would sleep. Yeah. So I feel like we don't have day, yeah. I would like have her mm-hmm. a lot of times or whatever the case may be. Yeah. So I feel like, at night is like come home yeah. and I think I think it was communication too and I yeah. think we've grown with communication because Raven so will be the queen of like alright I'm coming and then she's like five minutes away but really it's like 30 minutes away Yeah, and it's like just tell me for real for real like how long you gonna be so I can know type of thing yeah yeah I've definitely grown communicating. Yeah. Um, but I feel like that's probably our roughest patch and then once we were able to move past that which I also credit my program and become a therapist. I had to do a lot of self-reflection. Yeah. And um, it was just like, that That doesn't work. That's not cool. So, I think we've grown. That was probably our rough patch and I don't know. I think we kind of just shifted into where we are today. Yeah. I don't really know too many rough patches. I remember like play fighting with Jasmine one time. She hit me in the mouth. My mouth started bleeding. I was like, oh, this bitch is for real. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we play fighting or we were in the laundry room. Like, remember? Or not, or <laughs> well, were we play fighting? I thought so. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Clearly and, not. And so then, yeah, they just kind of like, okay, you know, keep my distance. But overall, I don't feel like it was ever like a rough patch. It's kind of like, okay, I don't want to leave her alone. Mm-hmm. And when I can push a little bit more, we went through that rough patch. I don't know how long that might have lasted. A couple months? I don't know. I wouldn't say I was like a year. year. I, I, I think it was like, like months, though. Yeah. Honestly, it was, I feel like it's like something happened. I think with our family, if anything happens, there's always a family talk. Oh, my God. Oh, right. And I feel yeah. like it's like a move on type of thing. Like, yeah. I, feel like, I don't think it lasts more than a week, if any. If that that long, day, you know, yeah. The whole thing, it was like Raven was out somewhere. That night I was out at Function Tuesday. That's fun. And I was bull riding home at whatever time she's going to be home. And she wasn't home. And I'm like, don't tell me you're going to. I feel like I'm like a wife. Like, <laughs> you said you're going to be home at this time. And I'm like, drunk by the bull. Like, <laughs> the baby over here crying. Yeah. And I'm like, just that was her. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's crazy. But I think it has, that, that all of that has helped us to where we are today. Yeah. Because it's like, I know, I can't try you like that. That's that's fucked up. Honestly, like, you dropping your kid off on somebody, it's fucked up. Like, I got it. But I get it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I get it. Um, yeah. And I think um, it's just helped 
blossom what we have today. Yeah. I think the more, the older we get, the more self-aware we are. Mm -hmm. And, like, being self-aware and also being aware of, like, the way you treat others. Mm -hmm. I think, and the things you say, because I know I'm kind of a person, like, I'm going to cut you with my words. Like, oh, yeah. I'm a words person. That happened that incident. She, she I, I, and I was like, oh, I think I know what to say to hurt somebody's feelings if I want to. Mm -hmm. Um, and so yeah, I think I've always been the one to use my words, and I think I'm at a place of like, okay, you can't always just like cut yeah. people with your words. Like it's not cool. <laughs> can't take words back. So right. and yeah. Bria is definitely the words. I don't have time for the words. I, when I'm mad. I'm not thinking about what to say. Maybe one of them. I'm like, I'm like, ready to call it home. I'm like, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. You trying it. I'm like, sit down. <laughs> All right, girl. Come on. <laughs> that was on my like, Jonathan would come to me, though, and like, Chill. And then Alvin would come to me like, I know, I know. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, man. Two hot heads. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's sisterhood, and I think that's our sisterhood. I have one more question. Oh, come on. I I'm, like, keep, like, popping <laughs> up in my head. So, what would be your favorite celebrity sisters? Ooh. Okay. Mm. I might have a few. Okay, let's start, but you be. I know, you <laughs> have a question. You have a question. Yeah, yeah. answers already ready. I feel like. An obvious is the Kardashians. Yes. For the simple fact that I love how they ride for each other. Yes. You can't talk about one without the other one, like, jumping in type mm -hmm. of thing. And it's like, yes, support your sister. Even right. she is wrong. Like, right, bitch. It doesn't matter. Not right now. She's not wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I love that. And then I was also thinking about uh, the Williams sisters. Because mm -hmm. they're just love dope. them. Yeah. And then also uh, T and Tamara. Yeah, I love them, right? I would say yeah, Tia and Tamara. I would say, are you good? Yeah. Okay, I want control. I would say Tia and Tamara just because I think we were able to see the closeness on Sister Sister. Yeah. And we love that show. Yes. We still so love that show. Right, we will watch Sister Sister like daily. Yeah. And so I think right. that, like, even if it was acting for the show, mm -hmm. but like they meshed well, they were different. Mm -hmm. You know, you had Tia like this, Tamara like that, and but they were still able, and I think that is kind of like us. Yeah. You, that's you. This that's you. you. Yeah. I'm over here, and but we can still mesh well. So I think see, that was my, the Mallory's. Oh. The pressure. I don't want to I know. I want to say the same. Like, the Kardashians because not only that they ride for each other, but they build each other up in their empires and you they have all these different sisters and all they're going their own lane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like what's for for you. Yeah. Like, like, nobody has to try to, you know, come over and take over. Right. That's very true because Kylie and Kim both with their makeup line, but it's like it's room for both of us. You yeah. know, it's not like a competitive yeah. at least what we see. Oh, no, no yeah, way. yeah, yeah. You know, in house, but from what we can see, it's like support each other and the different avenues they want to go to. Look, yeah. she became a yoga instructor, bitch. I'm a yoga instructor too. <laughs> Come out the flow and grow. Like, oh, my sister's a nurse. Hold on, you need a nurse. <laughs> you know, like, it's like. So I think that that aspect of the Kardashians, yeah, and the Maoris because they seem so down to earth. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. They like sister. Like, yeah. you know, I feel like we were in a room together with us and them. Like, oh, that we could. Yeah. We we're in a room with the Mallory sisters. Oh, we are. <laughs> they are so, they seem so down here. If you see them on Instagram with their family, yeah. like, they're never in the drama. Yeah. They have their own, they're going down their own avenues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they still ride for each other. I see them commenting under, under each other's pictures and stuff. I'm like, oh, so cute. <laughs> sisterhood but we would love to hear your thoughts on sisterhood yes. and what shaped the sisterhood that you have and is it your blood sister is it your homegirl that's been your sister since the time you met her right your cousin your whoever or do you not have a, a sisterhood right and are you looking for one 
Because you was her. <laughs> we always want to add more beautiful, strong women to our sisterhood. Yes. Because, like I said before, I feel like the support and that foundation of having mm-hmm. strong, empowering women so backing you. Like, you're like, bitch, I can do anything. Y'all heard Queen B. Who run the world? Girl. <laughs> But yeah, so let us know what you think. Mm-hmm. Be sure to check us out on YouTube and also yes. on podcast streaming networks. And remember, guys, it's bi-weekly this time. Yes. Wednesday nights at midnight, so make sure that you guys are tuning in and paying attention. Yes. Be sure to leave comments, please, any messages, any questions you have. And let us know what you want to see. Yes. Because Definitely. we are going to listen, okay? Yes. <laughs> we are going to listen. No, because we did. We asked, what do you want to hear? What do you want to see? Yes. And we are going to provide that. Yes. Absolutely. And follow us on Instagram. Yes. The Allens period underscore. underscore. Bye, guys. We love you. See ya.